Louisiana is home to over a hundred incredible reptile and amphibian species, but it's the snakes that can be found here which interest me the most. On today's adventure, we hunt for one of my absolute favorite herps that can be found in this area, the speckled king snake. Alright guys, check it out, check it out. Hey, 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 hey. Look at that. Whoa, 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 whoa. You're okay. Alright guys, that is not what we were looking for today. Oh, deer fly. But this is still a really cool snake. Check it out. So that's actually a diamondback water snake. And that's a pretty common species down here. Look at that head flattening too. He is angry with me, man. Now these are pretty common here. We don't get these at all in North Carolina. You can see that's a pretty stout snake. Now they do get much bigger than this. If you go over to Zach's channel, he has a video with an absolute monster. These are actually the largest water snakes in North America, reaching up to around six feet log at max size, which is ridiculous for a water snake. But we're just out here and you see he was sitting kind of on this it's edge there. habitat between the forest and the grass and he was just basking in the sunlight. And that's exactly what our target species, the speckled king snake, should be doing if we find them today. And also, a snake like this could even fall prey to one of those speckled king snakes because they do eat other snake species. But man, this is perfect to show also that defensive behavior, that really, really flattening of the head and body to look like a pit viper. Really cool to see that in the wild. All right, this has been a really nice snake to work with. Not our target for today, but still a pretty individual. We'll set her back. She'll dust. There she goes. So she'll probably go seek out a canal or something. She'll probably just keep basking all day. And tonight, I bet she'll go out and hunt. Really cool encounter. We'll look for her predator now. All right, all right, all right. Check this out, guys. Look at that. Yes. Yes. That is the speckled king snake. Look at this thing. This has got to be one of the most gorgeous snakes I have ever caught in my life. And wow, look at that patterning. You don't call them the speckled king snakes for nothing. You have these beautiful orange dots all down the body. And that belly, you have that mottled gray and black. This is an absolutely gorgeous snake. Now, speckled king snakes are very closely related to eastern king snakes which is of course the species that we have back at home. However, specks are technically considered somewhat different. Uh, as you can see, that pattern is, is very different than that regular chain pattern you get on Eastern Kings. Um, and although it could definitely breed with an Eastern King, it is considered its own kind of little species, subspecies. Now, they are very similar to Eastern Kings, however, in ecological niche. Uh, these guys will hunt all kinds of other snakes. They are excellent snake hunters. They can even take down venomous snakes out here, cottonmouths, copperheads. They're actually immune to the venom of pit vipers, which is pretty incredible. So even if he went after a cottonmouth or something and got tagged, wouldn't phase him at all. Now they aren't venomous. King snakes are constrictors, very powerful constrictors in fact. Uh, many scientists believe that the king snake, eastern kings and speckled kings, are actually the strongest constrictors in the world per pound of body weight, uh, which is really neat. So they're very effective constrictors, and they use that to asphyxiate their prey, which can be snakes, that can be lizards, that can be mice, anything like that these guys will go after. Now one thing you'll notice is he's actually being extraordinarily calm, and that is definitely a pretty common behavior in various king snake species. These are very docile snakes, they very, very rarely will ever strike at you, and as long as you're being calm with them, they're usually going to be pretty calm with you. Now, we found him just on this road. He was crossing this direction. And what you can't see behind us is actually there's a little canal. And in that canal, I'm sure there's lots of water snakes and probably also cotton mouths hanging out in the shade because it's a pretty hot day. And I'm sure what he's doing, he'll just walk or walk. He'll just slither down this kind of edge habitat, sniffing around. And if he smells anything, he'll go after it, get those coils around it, and that will be his lunch. But these are some of the most beneficial snakes to mankind for many reasons. Not only do they fulfill that same kind of middle layer of the ecosystem role that other snakes fill, they do seek out and hunt venomous snakes. So if you're someone who really is concerned about venomous snakes being on your property, get a king snake or two and uh, that will really take care of your problem. They're so pretty, really easy to identify. 
Uh, I don't know how you can mistake it for anything else. You just have that beautiful modeling on the top and then on the bottom. Look for that kind of white and black checkering pattern. That is an absolutely gorgeous snake. Now you're only probably gonna see these out and about during the day. They are diurnal snakes, so they're using their eyesight and of course they're very keen since the smell to hunt. While it's not impossible to find them out hunting at night, if you do want to uh, have a chance to encounter these snakes, I would recommend looking at edge habitat during the daytime hours. But these are snakes that you definitely would love to have around your house. Very beautiful, very docile. That is such a cool animal. We're just gonna grab a couple B-roll shots and we will have him right back where he belongs. Well everyone, that's just about it for today's video. I really hope that you enjoyed and learned something new about the Speckled King Snake. If you did enjoy, I would really appreciate it if you could leave a like on this video and consider subscribing to my channel for more educational wildlife content coming every Saturday morning. Thanks so much for watching and keep adventuring everywhere. This has been Zeno of The Wild Report, signing out.